Okay, next, uh, let's fix some of the problems that we found in the data set after partitioning. So first of all, see that we have this loan status here, and we have loan status numeric, which if you've been following along with this class, you're familiar, this is just the numeric version, a rank ordered version of the possible loan statuses in the order in which they're good. Well, we have one exception here, issued. So why is issued coded as a 999? So let me show you some of the other ones in grace period. This means that their due date has passed, but we give them 15 days before we actually count it late. That's called the grace period. So one means they're not as good as current, but it's not as bad as late, which if we keep going through, let's see if we can find any, I guess not in the first 100 records. So a zero would be late 15 to 30 days. And then a negative one would be late 30 to 120. And then a negative two would be default. And then a negative three is charged off. That's the rank ordered of loan status. However, I've got this loan status numeric issued. Well, the reason why it's marked with a negative 999, this is a common technique when we want to mark values that we may just want to get rid of. So in this case, why would we want to get rid of issued? Well, because they've been issued the loan, but the first due date hasn't come yet. So we have no idea if they're going to start paying or not paying on this loan. And so their record really doesn't do us any good at all. So I've marked it as a 999 because I actually want to get rid of all of the issued values. So you're familiar with the split data pill, but you've not used it for this purpose yet. Pull it in here and let's use split data. So in the past, we used this splitting method called split rows. Remove the fraction, and then we pick the fraction of rows that we want. Uh, we pick a random seed, but that's not what we're going to do this time. Instead, change split rows to regular expression. So look here. If you're familiar with regex or regular expressions, it's the same um, notation that's used in programming and a variety of other contexts. We're going to change column name to loan status. And then this, uh, uh, what do you call it, exponent or raise to little character. I'm going to take off the word start and change that to the value of loan status that I want to get rid of. Okay. Now, alternatively, I could say give me um, uh, everything but issued. But this is easier. Let me show you why. So here's what's going to happen. In this split data pill, this regular expression will be evaluated. And every record for which that's true will come out the left side. And every record for which it's false will come out the right side. So all we have to do is say, okay, cool. All those that are issued will come out over here. We only want everything that comes out the right side of this pill. So uh, let's go ahead and run that one. Now also, as you might guess, we've also got what's called relative expressions. Now if you learned this in your C-sharp class last semester, uh, you might just be used to these being the same, uh, both of these uh, techniques being uh, coming under the regex uh, framework which is true, but in this case, all a relative expression means is that instead of having a categorical column where we pick values or pick uh, use some sort of rules, we're going, to, we're going to choose a numeric column and say, give us all values that are less than, greater than, or equal to, and we can type in the value right here. So another way to do this, we could have simply said return, and we can put loan status here, all loan statuses that are greater than negative four because I think negative three is the lowest one that I actually want to keep then that gets rid of my negative 999s so either one of those works I'll stick with regular expressions uh, that's all for this video on using split data to uh, only take out portions of the data set now also know that you can do something else cool I can copy although I'm going to delete this in a second but I can copy split data and say actually I only want another sub portion of that data give me those that aren't issued and now let's add on to that uh, relative expression that says give me those where um, DTI is greater than 0.4 for the people who are in a lot of debt or something like that. I just want to look at those. So I can daisy chain here or chain call split data after split data and uh, filter my data set down to exactly what I want. So for now though I'm going to stop here and leave this with my regex.